Mr. Chairman, um, you know, I'm, I don't want to go on and on about this. I've been working on trying to reform some of our no-fault um, law for a number of years now. And I think she tried to take no parts of people's um, ideas whenever she could. Um, tried to compromise, and it was her philosophy to try to get something done and signed into law. And uh, sometimes she knew that that required compromise and working with everyone involved. She hired me on to be her legislative assistant, and I did that job for three years. So uh, Linda and I were together every day. Um, I made sure her bills were in order, her calendar was in order, her constituent letters were in order. Um, Linda had a reputation of being very good to the staff and being very bipartisan and good to all the members. Um, it was very, very important to her to treat everyone uh, with respect. She was a very hard worker, a very tough negotiator, but at the end of the day, she was always willing to make a deal. And she felt strongly about legislation she was working on, but she always understood that at the end of the day, when the deal was made, both sides uh, had to come away feeling like they got a little something that they needed in the legislation. Linda Scheid uh, was a devoted teacher, particularly in the Brooklyn Center school system. She was, um, she was a substitute teacher, but she was, um, she was a regular. And um, it's very clear that she uh, loved those, those students that she taught. I left the committee for two years and I was very distressed over that. <laughs> so I'm really glad to um, come back on. Education was incredibly important to her and it was just, you know, all about students and parents and, you know, just really, really concerned about those issues. It, uh, with, with Linda, it was, uh, you got the sense as a legislator and as a person that she really walked the walk and talked the talk, that what she believed in was how she legislated and it didn't matter. I mean, that gave her um, she was, you know, very, um, very well respected on both sides of the aisle. She always extended herself to the minority and, and made the minority, I think, feel as part of the process. And uh, as a result, uh, I think uh, her legislative career will be looked back upon as, as one which certainly a lot of important pieces of legislation evolved from her efforts and they're good legislation and they will move with us on to the future, but, but always, I think she understood the importance of involving the minority and the diversity of views that goes with putting together a good legislative product. She had some very strongly held principles, um, and those, that's how, that's, you know, that's how she voted. It was, uh, it was, I don't think, ever felt political with Linda. It was always what she firmly believed, and if she agreed with you, then she was uh, completely unafraid and, and happy to step up and, uh, and support a piece of legislation that she believed in. When uh, Senator Scheid was in the House of Representatives, uh, she told me the story as, a, as her staff person about how there was a proposal that uh, was a DFL proposal and she did not want to vote for the proposal because she felt it would impact her constituents negatively. So she refused to vote for it and uh, they came to her and said you have to vote for it and she refused and so they kicked her off the tax committee. That is the kind of principles that uh, Senator Scheid had and felt that it was in her best interest to uh, represent her constituents to the best of her ability. She did that and uh, sometimes uh, that made her uh, friends with both sides and sometimes that made people mad from both sides. She knew the art of compromise. Uh, she knew how to negotiate from interests rather than positions and to um, uh, on a number of occasions to, um, to find a solution uh, on a policy issue in which there might have been a great deal of controversy. Linda was known as a principled bipartisan legislator. She took pride in that and she took pride in uh, looking out for her constituents uh, no matter what cost it was to her politically. Um, she, she's a true leader and um, I think uh, she will be remembered very well here at the legislature. I never in the, in the years that I worked with her ever heard her say a bad word about anybody on either side of the aisle. I never heard her say uh, when things were, uh, difficult issues were in front of uh, her committee, anything negative about uh, people on either side of issues. She just was the kind of person that wanted to work hard, try to find uh, some compromise on issues that were in front of her for, for her ultimately as the chair to try and broker uh, an agreement on. 
I know she'll be missed. She was a lovely lady who everyone enjoyed working with. Uh, she was always very kind and, and thoughtful, and uh, that's uh, something that uh, we very much need. Well, we need everywhere, right? Not just in St. Paul, but everywhere, and she's, uh, she's one of the good ones. Well, I want Senator Scheid to be known for uh, being a consummate legislator, one who came to the Capitol, I think for all the right reasons, who worked hard, who exemplified, I think for all of us, what a legislator, a good legislator truly is. And I think through her life at the Capitol, and I enjoyed nine years of that here, uh, we come to know her, to respect her, to admire her, uh, we love her and certainly life, uh, we certainly miss her in death and our respect and admiration uh, will always uh, be there and uh, we will remember her with great fondness. She knew what it meant to be a loyal friend and she herself um, has probably was a lot of people's best friend, which I think is um, the highest compliment you can give to a person.